Hello, 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 and welcome to my kingdom. If you not born again, you haven't confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or if you haven't said the salvation prayer, do I get born again? We can't walk in this life without Jesus Christ being on the wheel if you know what i mean because if you don't have jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior then you are driving your life yourself and definitely you're driving to the wrong direction being born again is not going to church every sunday it's not being a nice person it's actually accepting the lord jesus when you say the sinner's prayer you acknowledge that jesus really is his death he did something for you and you are you know accepting it that's being born again and the holy spirit will help you to live a righteous life this other guy i was evangelizing and i said to him you know you need to receive christ and he said to me i'm not done and i was like what do you mean you're not done and he said to me I'm still drinking and sometimes when I'm stressed I smoke and you know I do a lot of bad things according to him it's just too bad and I told him you come to the Lord the way you are because you might wait forever and there might not be a forever you might just miss it because we fail to understand we are not our own so there is no way that you say you will fix yourself you can't fix yourself you don't have to be perfect I know that's what we grew up being told that if you're in church you have to be 100% this or that study the word and you understand it the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one who can help through the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is the one that's going to convict you some of the things he will tell you not to do. And the Holy Spirit, the way he works in us, he works in us in a different way. Therefore, if you come the way you are, just surrendering and let him be the driver, let him actually take the wheel, you start being convicted things that you used to do before you confessed him as your lord and savior they'll start leaving the other guy he said you know i didn't realize that i haven't smoked until after two weeks then i realized that okay i haven't smoked and every day he would carry his cigarette in his bag he would go with that he he didn't realize until after two weeks then he realized okay he can't smoke and I was like, that's how God is. You don't have to say, okay, I need to stop smoking, then I'll see the Lord later because then you are going to wait forever. But then when you come with your whole heart, He is going to help you. Whew, honey, we live in Revelation already. Things are happening. The Lord Jesus Christ might be coming sooner than we think or you might actually die before he comes hmm? you might go sooner <laughs> you might depart sooner so there is no way that you say oh i'll give my life when we are in chapter so and so of revelation or when the bible said well, this is gonna happen so i'm saying it's happening so which means it's closer what if you don't get to that day yourself hmm? what if right now you die so you just need to make up your mind to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life because your money, your qualifications, your family, your boyfriend, your husband, you, whatever that you put your trust in, that you feel like, oh, I have this, therefore I'm secured. You are not. I feel 
hyped today because it's either listen to this or I watched this movie then it gave me some feels but it shouldn't be like that as a child of God you should be always here not because you need to listen to a certain song or whatever it's supposed to be a lifestyle you're supposed to always be here every day always be happy even if things are like it's dark even if it's dark you should be a happy person you know even when things are going the other way around then you know that okay this one it's either the lord is working in you if you've prayed about it and it's not waking out then you should be able to um, discern that the Lord is working in me either your character your attitude or whatever that needs to be fixed he's using that situation to fix you it could be impatience I used to be very impatient and God is for some situations and like this morning I just found myself I was like okay God you know what I know you gave me this in 2019 December but it's still not here and lately I'm hearing a lot about it but it's still not here like in front of me you know so this morning I was like to myself you know what God I heard about it again this morning and I was like you know what God you are teaching me patience there's a reason it's delaying so much it's probably you want me to be humble because maybe if I get this, I might grow wings, you know, or I might look down on other people, or I might lose my faith or my soul, you know. So I just thank God. I'm like, God, thank you. You know what? If you are keeping it, just keep it. All I know is that eventually you will give me when the time is right. Because it's not that it's delaying because it's a delay, delaying spirit or a setback spirit of course they do exist those ones we can rebuke them and do a warfare but i dissent that it is because the lord wants to fix me i can feel like okay i'm getting i'm getting there i'm getting there okay lord i think i'm ready but he knows that i'm not ready just accept the lord jesus christ and let him be the driver of your life and live a happy life like for real not living to prove a point or to post on social media it is behind closed doors you are not happy when we come out of here we put on the show then we put on the smiles because that's how we were taught we were told that some of the things let them be behind the closed doors then out there let people see the happy you but it shouldn't be like that but obviously as christians you can't be going around and say i'm going through this i'm going we just say okay the lord is working on me or whatever that's happening if it's something that needs to be rebuked and he's going to send a prophet or a pastor spiritual leader whatever you believe in or you know to help you in that spiritual warfare and you get delivered but if he's working in you honey you can go left right and center you can call everybody and you will not get help all right so i had to share this uh, to newly born again folks congratulations and welcome to the family you all right i gotta live and leave you bye bye